Hi guys, Leanne Bartlett here for today's video and today I wanted to talk to you about travel. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I actually didn't really travel or do much at all until I was uh, 22 when I met my husband. Prior to that, I'd been on, I think, one flight or maybe two flights to Melbourne and one to Sydney. Uh, and that was about the extent of it. So I hadn't ever been overseas or anything like that. I didn't even have a passport. Uh, but it was definitely something I wanted to do. But I think I was just maybe a little bit scared about you know the the big wide world and, and what could possibly happen and I suppose watching the media and stuff didn't help because there was always stuff going on around the world uh, but definitely wanted to travel so when I met my husband I think it was about six or seven months in we actually decided to go to Hawaii so that was actually my first trip overseas and then from there, I started my traditional franchise and, you know, just got bogged down with the normal, you know, everyday grind, I suppose you could say. Wasn't making the hugest amount of money, so didn't have a, a huge amount of money to spend on travel either. Because um, I don't know about you guys, but when I travel, I actually like to do it in a, you know, a bit, a nice hotels and, you know, I'm not somebody that likes camping or anything like that. So, you know, I do like to go on a nice a nice holiday and do and that obviously that costs a bit of money right so it wasn't until I started my business here and now I've been running my business here for about seven and a half years uh, that we actually started to do some significant travel uh, the next trip we had I think after Hawaii was Tahi oh no it might have been Whistler actually uh, we actually left the the children at home and went to Whistler Prior to that, I actually had gone on one trip without my husband, uh, left the children and husband at home and uh, went off to Puerto Rico. So that was my first big trip on my own, uh, was with a friend, but really, you know, without my partner or anything like that. Uh, we've been to Whistler, Canada in December. That was amazing. Um, you know, we've been to Tahiti. That was the first trip where I took my parents with us as well. Um, we actually nowadays take my parents overseas with us all the time. So not only is there my husband and my two children, there's now my parents. We've also taken my husband's uh, mum with us as well. We went on a, a US trip to Disneyland. Uh, we went to Denver, Colorado, went to New York. So we did a bit of a, a trip around the US with the seven of us. Uh, so that was lots of fun. Um, you know, we've been to some amazing places. We've been to Europe um, three times, I think, in the last 12 months. We're about to head off to Chile in a couple of weeks. We've got an Auckland, New Zealand trip booked for May. We've been to, to Vegas a few times. We actually uh, went off to Vegas uh, May last year. Um, we took my best friend and her partner along with us. Two weeks, no children, and between this, uh, the four of us, we actually have six children. So that was awesome. We went to San Francisco, stayed in Vegas. Uh, Andrew and I actually went to uh, the Graceland Chapel, renewed our vows. So, you know, we've done some amazing things. We've had some amazing experiences in so many places around the world. Um, the trip we just went on, we went to Portugal, went to this uh, amazing three hat, I think, a three Michelin star um, chef restaurant in Portugal at the top of the mountain. It was spectacular. Uh, we've done some amazing things. And, you know, I just love the, the different cultures, the different food, the different experiences you have when you go to different countries. So if you haven't traveled overseas yet, absolutely recommend you do so. But be prepared. You'll probably get addicted. and <laughs> You'll probably want to be traveling all the time like I do, you know. Every time, you know, we've had one trip, as soon as we get back, I'm on to the next one. I've booked the next one. Sometimes I've got two trips booked in advance. So uh, definitely I know after Auckland, uh, we've got um, Port Douglas in there somewhere too. We're going to have some other trips planned for next year. I would say we'll probably get back to the U.S. next year. We love the U.S. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep filling up that pipeline with, with different trips to look forward to and, just different experiences. You know, some people say, well, but you know, you're, you're taking your children out of school for all this time. You know what? They're going to learn so much more in another country, you know, with other people speaking other languages and other experiences they're going to have, you know, for example, visiting the Eiffel Tower or seeing the Big Ben than actually reading about it in a book in, in the classroom. So, you know, for me, uh, it's, it's the most amazing feeling and I just love it. So I'll, uh, I'll, 
probably record another couple of videos before our trip, but I may even record some while we're there. So check out my website and uh, you may see some pretty cool videos from our Chile trip. So have a great day, guys, and uh, go and travel the world. Bye for now. Thank you.